Hello, my name is Walter, and welcome back to Rick and Marty Season 3, Episode 5 The Whirly Dirty Conspiracy. I don't know what the fuck that means, <laughs> but uh, we'll be finding out together. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, and uh, I will be editing this episode as usual. Uh, copyright is very strong, I don't know why. Um, friends said, uh, try to wait one day more, but I'm like, nah, I, did, I think. You know, the more I wait, the more stronger the copyright gets because, you know, a lot of people do post uh, things about Rick and Marty on YouTube as well. Uh, I'm still editing the Game of Thrones episode, so most likely after this you'll see the upload um, coming. Uh, so this is going to be coming up first because this is going to be easier to edit because it's 20 minutes. Um, anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's just me babbling. In, uh, in the last episode we saw... Uh, the Vindicators, whom we don't really know about because, you know, we never really saw them. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, uh, got a cough. Um, anyway, yeah, let's go. Is that Jerry? <laughs> Poor Jerry. <laughs> Didn't shave and shit. Oh, that's sad. Come on, Jerry! Jerry, come on! You gotta go! You gotta come with me, Jerry! Rick? It's important, Jerry! <laughs> the fate of the galaxy rests on your shoulders! Let's go! Put some pants on! <laughs> no, never mind! There's no time for pants, Jerry! <laughs> there's no I'll time for pants! There's no time for pants! It's a Rick and Jerry pants. adventure! Rick and Jerry episode! <laughs> Dude! I thought um, Rick said he didn't want to uh, have anything to do with the father though. Eh, I guess he kind of misses it maybe. And I thought, hey, what about Jerry? He's, he's good with regular folk. This is a real situation where, where, where Jerry can really shine. He's a master convincer. Rick, I'm not an idiot. I know what this is. Oh, okay, well, I told Morty, look, parents get divorced, they get sad, he'll be fine, but I think he's worried you're gonna, you know... You know how Morty gets when he gets emotional, it impedes my work, so I told him I'd take you out and give you a win. Wait, my son asked you to take me on some kind of pity adventure to keep me from killing myself? Wait, what did you think it was? An execution. Jeez, you really do need a win. No, I don't know. I mean, you never made me the pants, so... So you thought... I was gonna drive you into the middle of the galaxy and shove you... Into the vacuum of space with your dick hanging out, and we're seeing how you'd act if that were about to happen? I mean, I'll make you the pants right now. Take me two seconds to make I the pants. I got pants at home. Jerry, if I make pants, they'll be better than your pants at home. Also, if I wanted to kill you... Yeah, I get it. It'd be amazing. Please, take me home. I'll tell my son we had an amazing adventure. Well, if it's all the same, can we go get our story straight? Because you're a terrible liar. You called me a master convincer! You believed me? <laughs> you told me I was master convincer. <laughs> This seems kind of fancy. Jerry, for all you know, this is the equivalent of an alien truck stop. You have no frame of reference. You're in a universe beyond your imagining. But yes, it is super fancy. I mean, my job here is to make Morty happy. I'm not going to take you somewhere dangerous. Oh, Rick Sanchez. I told you if I ever saw your face in here again, I would stick you like the pig you are. <laughs> Snoopy Blippers, I told you if you tried. Oh, there be two funerals. Oh. Oh. Covered in an immortality field. You can't die here. That's the gimmick. Okay, but still, bad parents. Yeah. Hey, rich I mean... a-holes are rich a-holes. They all pay top dollar to come here and enjoy a consequence-free vacation. No death, no keys, no dismemberment. Oh, please, can't even please. have a heart attack. Got it. The perfect place to take the most fragile being in the universe. I can tell you expect me to refute that. But it's right on the money. If I come <laughs> home right without you, I doubt Morty's gonna let me up. The hook. Yeah, but what if he came home with Jeff Goldblum? Jeff Goldblum? What the f*** are you talking about, Jerry? <laughs> Jesus. Holy f***ing shit. Yo, what's up, Big Chill? Don't go into that telepod. <laughs> Maybe we would have fun on a fake adventure. On a fake adventure. Speaking of, what are we gonna tell Morty? I don't know, but whatever it is, we're gonna need a couple more of these babies. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Mom, do you think I'm hot? I don't think that's something that matters. Yeah. So I'm not hot? I'm saying the part of you that cares about that is a part you shouldn't give any energy to. That's not an answer! Because I'm not an issue of plasma, <laughs> okay? I'm your mother and a doctor and- I'm an idiot! <laughs> Jeez, what's with her? Teenage girl stuff. Is that a hoof collage? It's perfectly legal if that's what you're wondering. Coolsies. <laughs> we just don't have anything in common anymore, Summer. Oh yeah, Ethan? What do you have in common with Trisha Lang? A mutual love of French cinema? The belief that a carbon tax is the only viable solution to climate change? Or could it be her massive stripper titties? I I I tip titties. <laughs> but Ooh, yeah. I'm just like And that's when guy. Malachi the Squid King rips off his face and beneath it is my face. 
I like it. Thank you, sir. Yeah, of course he likes it. Look at him. Mother got two heads and three trunks. All right, we'll put a pin in it. I'm gonna go take a leak. What if uh, that's not a place to leak? My name is Rosato Grupa. I am the assistant general manager of the restaurant. Do you have any comment cards? Because I might have some thoughts. My kingdom was usurped by fools with weapons and technology supplied by your father-in-law. Hey, he usurped my kingdom too, man. He basically got me kicked out of my home. Oh, he stole my family. Then we are brothers. And you have wondered what your life could have been without Rick? Wondered? Sure. I mean, I've wondered about having a vagina. Would you help me kill him? What? No. He's my wife's father. Move on. Do you like theme park rides? Oh, you really moved on. There is a popular attraction here called the Whirly. Dirly. Between the first Whirly and the third Dirly, <laughs> the ride dips just outside the immortality field. You're asking me to lure Rick to his death? I'm only asking you to go on a ride with Rick, get off the ride without Rick, and go home to your family, where you can wonder about having a vagina. Okay, okay. That was a very specific example pulled from thin air. I don't want to be known as the vagina guy. Zoto, you need it. Someone ordered the Nuzzy Guzzy Fresh and Fuzzy Special. Mm. Look, I'm not like Rick, so you're free to do as you please. But there comes a time in every man's life when he must choose the foundation on which his legacy will be built. Yeah, that's true. One of compromise, or one of blood. Once in time a year, there's a special person here. She's really gonna get bigger boobs. Oh yeah. Oh. That's uh, what I'm talking about. I mean, you know, what? don't, don't, okay. don't Just a little go. Little more on the other side, then. Oh come on! Don't go what? too big, man. Oh man. No, that's so not. So the hospital well. just let you walk right out of there with, with divorce parts in a bag. For Christ's sakes, Morty, women going through a divorce need to create an outlet. What was that? Uh, it is summer. This thing is pretty know, complicated. Uh, I'm gonna call Rick. Well, hold on. We can't just call your grandpa whenever there's a problem. We can handle this ourselves. I mean, I don't see the point in trying to. Yeah. So obviously, Rick loves. I have a medical degree. Is that what this is about? Like, like you want to prove yourself? Oh, it's not about anything, Morty. How dare you? Good, then I'll just call him. <laughs> Morty, I need this. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Triple Trunks here says he knows a place where the ladies drop panties for anyone by peel. Yeah, I'm not really interested. My heart still belongs to that. Oh, huh. Okay. What? You don't think I have a shot? I didn't say that. Excuse me. I have another one of these. I'm right up. Well, we're so bad between Beth and me. We had some good times when we were younger. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah sure. That's yeah. how teenage pregnancy yeah. happens, my friend. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> Things are pretty great, even until a couple of years ago. Jerry, I get it. That's around the time I moved in with you guys. Oh, I guess you're right. Jerry, you know, I hope you're not suggesting that I had anything to do with your marriage breaking up, because there are some major issues between you and Beth that have been there since you guys met. Hey, to new beginnings. To the whirly Dirly. The whirly Dirly. All right, what's going on here? When did you get cool? <laughs> <laughs> when you stole my wife. You done that a long time ago. <laughs> Baby, already dirty. Aha, uh -huh, look at this. It says normalized. I bet if we just press that. But if the machine was made by spider people, normal would mean eight legs. Oh, God, are you gonna go in another spiel like you did with the flesh colored crayon? I'm pretty sure normalized will make her normal. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I call that progress. She's huge and normal. I'm not normal! Oh, okay, just says reverse. Done and done. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, come on, what else could reverse possibly mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. Rick. Thank you. There's a customer service number on here. Um, <laughs> There's a customer service number here. This is going to be awesome. Wow. I got to hand it to you. Jerry, this was a solid idea. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. You know what? I'll cop to it. I put a lot of strain on your marriage. It wasn't fair. I'm sorry. What? I didn't respect your marriage. I certainly didn't do it any favors, and for what it's worth, I'll apologize to Beth for it when we get home. Woo! Where are we, Jerry? Yeah! Stop the ride! We gotta get off. What are you talking about, buddy? We gotta get out of the train. We gotta get out! <gasps> Jerry, come on, man. We haven't even gotten to the first whirly. No, no. This sucks. It's so boring. I mean, I'm falling asleep here. Let's just get out and crawl down the side. Whoa. That is fucking awesome, though. <laughs> up here, there's a spot where you can get him. <clears throat> Good call, Jerry. Uh, hey, how'd you know about that? Uh... Well, we've never seen Rick without his uh, science shirt. Oh, no. Jerry, big fan of 
the whirly dirly, are you? Not anymore, obviously. But when you were, how did you know about it? Uh, we had a deal, Jerry Smith. It's a really common name. Now take it easy, Rick. You've, you've been in a serious roller coaster crash. It's, it's no time to be thinking about who did or didn't play a role in your attempted murder. Ah, get it off me! Feeding me! Look, I confess, okay? You told me about all the bad stuff you did to this planet and reminded me of all the bad stuff you did to me, but then you said you were sorry and I realized you're not a monster. Not like this thing. It's got me good. This is a mislead, right? You're inventing a thing to save me. Don't be called a knife, Jerry. It's been invented. I'm making a way out of here. One seat ought to do it. I'm sorry. I, I made a mistake. I won't do it again. Nobody ever does. <laughs> Stop righteous piece of sh You took my family! I took your family? Who do you think had more taken from them when you shot 20 cc's of liquid dream killer into my daughter? She was Rick's daughter, Jerry. She had options. Oof. That all ended because she felt sorry for you. You act like prey, but you're a predator. You use pity to lure in your victims. That's how you survive. I survive because I know everything. That snake survived because children wander off, and you survive because people think, oh, this poor piece of sh He never gets a break. I can't stand the deafening silent wails of his wilting soul. I guess I'll hire him or marry him. <laughs> You wouldn't let me die? That was never an option. Because you never had a son? No, because I need a living organism coated in kibble snake vial to attract a smooth light runner. Wait, what's happening? Use that confusion, Jerry. It'll make you wriggle more like an abandoned newborn. Jesus Christ, what the f***? Help, help me! <laughs> man, Rick, man. He is fucking awesome. Oh, oh, okay. He's controlling it. This is spaceport 20 oh, miles south. We'll be able to board a galaxy class cruise ship and jump through a wormhole that'll put us within spitting distance of the Milky Way. But hey, it's about the journey, not the destination, right, Jerry? Uh, Just keep waiting for you, Mom. Fill hold. More Pfizer customer service. How may I help you? Yes, I'm having a little trouble with one of your machines. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. Do you see a little compartment on the side of the machine? Mm, let me check. Yes, got it. Mom, great. Now, do you see the little button next to it? I do. Give that button a push. Okay. Mom, listen to me. We're free! Okay, so I pushed the button and three little men ran out. What do I do next? Hello? I think we got disconnected. Morty, yeah! Don't Morty me! I tricked Rick into taking Dad on an adventure because I thought I could get a break from this kind of sh But no, like father, like Damn daughter! You want to be God like damn Rick? Gone. Congratulations! You're just as arrogant and just as irresponsible! Everything okay here? Mind your own oh, damn business, Gene! I'm having a conversation with my mother here! <laughs> Rick's ass isn't gonna help keep him around, Mom, but it will help you lose everyone else. Like I lost Summer. Hey. You haven't lost her yet. No, I definitely did. She's gone. God damn it! God damn it. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, come on, what's happening? Bring us class C or above cybernetic augmentations. Emphasis on the above. In any case, he needs to be neutralized. What? Wait! Ugh, brain hurty. What did you do? The synaptic dampener that blocks violent tendencies and controversial thought. He will now be an ideal passenger. What cookies and a 90 minute cut of Avatar? Seriously? Uh. Quit it. We're out in six hours. It's cheaper than banning dangerous people from flights. I mean, let everybody buy a ticket, right? Otherwise, the terrorists win. Yeah. There you go. I'm sorry, I'm not like a classic maternal archetype. Okay, I don't know what to do when you people come to me with your weird puberty issues. What are you gonna do when your daughter asks you if she's attractive? I'll say yes. Morty, gross. Well, she's gonna be super hot, and her mother's gonna be Jessica. Wait, when did Summer ask you that? Right before she Clive Barker herself flying. Wait, I know where she is. Ethan and Summer were supposed to go camping, and then he dumped Summer for this girl Trisha Lang who's got huge boobies and took her. Campsite. Uh, the, the one with the name that sounds like somebody gave up halfway through naming it. Uh. Camp Flavin' Abba. Mama's coming, baby. Mama's coming. <laughs> she cares. Clever, clever. <laughs> They have sweet Smiggle honey cookies, mmm, and low-calorie petroleum flakes. Obviously cookies. Let's get you the flakes, then. Okay, but it's not what I wanted. Well, maybe next time you won't be such a dumb basic and you can pick for yourself. That's not nice. What's that? Did you just have a controversial thought? No. That's what I thought, bitch, you little punk ass. <laughs> this is the best. I agree. You've made things even easier than if you hadn't been incompetent. Uh-oh, we get shoot you now. We're about to enter the wormhole, so I hope everybody bought it dinner first. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh. Jerry, step over there and lock yourself in the escape pod. You're not killing us? I'm killing Rick. You're free to go. You're no threat to me or anyone. Now you're just being mean. Yeah, you're mean. No offense. Mean would be shooting you, Jerry. This is saving a bullet. Go back to your quiet and shame. Family, live out the rest of your days <laughs> in denial of your vagina fantasies. It was a one-time fuck that everyone has! That's <laughs> oh. oh. What are you doing? I'm being triumphantly brave! It's not triumphant or brave. You're not risking anything. But shoot me! I think you know I won't, because you know I feel sorry for you. You're just doing this so you can tell yourself you fought. Ow! Oh. Temporal shield compromise. Congratulations, Jerry. You get to die a man. Well, that's okay, I'll leave. Please don't shoot. I I'm the vagina guy, remember? Ah. Trippy. What is happening to me? Who is this? Where am I? Am I dead? Am I, am I still alive? Those aren't the questions you should be asking. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's fucking awesome though.
Oh my god. Salvador Dali and shit. Nice. I'm tripping, man. Oh god, I feel like our souls were united and we're all one with eternity. Our bodies unchanged, yet our minds have lived a thousand lifetimes. Is that enough time for me to forgive you? I don't know, but it's enough time for a synaptic dampener to wear off. He hadn't decided he was still going to kill us. He's turned himself into it. I've seen it before. Cosmic apotheosis wears off faster than salvia. I'm starting to believe you because I just finished merging with your essence for an endless epoch and I'm already back to thinking you're an asshole. Fine with me. Let's just go our separate ways. It sounds like you and the word epoch have a lot of catching up to do. Wait, don't leave me. All right, folks, you're free to go up and walk around the cabin and maybe take the wormhole out for breakfast. Maybe you can do the dinner one of the breakfast one, but not both. <laughs> you can do the dinner one of the breakfast one. You got that thing one. figured out? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Good, because I have an idea. <laughs> that would number. Actually, the action of, of some and more, isn't it? Oh, wow. I was way off. What is this? Morty? What's happening here? Summer got into my grandpa's garage, messed around, and turned herself into a monster. My mom did the same to make her feel better. She's a good mom. Whoa. Oh, my God. I have to go call my mother. Trisha, wait, Ethan, Ethan. Hey, it's OK. Sit down. You made my sister cry, Ethan. You messed with her body image. Look, Morty. Shh, shh, shh. Careful, <laughs> Ethan. Your s'more is burning. Careful, Ethan. Your s'more is burning. <laughs> Uh, I guess we better get on the same page about our fake adventure. Right. I'll make you a deal. I'll leave out the part where you tried to murder me, and I'll leave out the part where you admitted to sabotaging our marriage. You wanna... Nah, if the family sees me like this, they'll feel sorry for me. Which is no longer my signature move. Later days, amigo. Actually, I just realized I don't have my wallet and my bus passes in there, so maybe... Stay strong, Jerry. I believe in you. <laughs> Stay strong, Jerry. I believe in you. <laughs> oh man, that was a really good episode. So yeah, as, as I was saying, uh, I just think that, um, you know, it's just great to see Jerry kind of having some fun with the Rick. And uh, I'm so sorry about this, I tried looking for the after credit scene um, and all of the other links. Uh, I couldn't find it, so I had to resort to YouTube, I'm so sorry. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, I still want to watch it with you guys, so let's go. <laughs> all right uh that was uh that was pretty good um thank you squanchy uh pretty good work there um yeah i think that this episode uh brings up some legitimately good points about you know beth's uh parenting skills and also jerry's parenting skills and you know jerry's want of being to be pitied and everything else like that um i'm so sorry i had to resort to youtube in the last third here to watch the post uh, credit scene uh but i i am from malaysia so i don't really have adult swim here um so yeah that's about it guys uh, i hope you guys enjoy i'm, I'm gonna be, be editing a lot here uh because of the that post credit scene there um Again, I am so sorry about that. Uh, I tried looking for other sites, other, you know, other places I could watch the full episode with you guys. I didn't get to because, you know, a full episode for me is inclusive of the post credit scene. And so far, all four episodes had and it's just this episode didn't have it. So I'm so sorry about that. I'm editing the Game of Thrones and I'm going to be giving you uh, that as fast as possible. I'm going to be editing this episode because of copyright. Uh, and yeah, that's about it guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys had fun with me. And I hope to see you again soon. I will see you in the next video. See you then. Mm -hmm.